as the fourth day of 2020 comes to a close. I'm so thankful that you guys are here tonight. Lexi Alger's best friend, Gabby Carter Lofton, reflected on the first few days of the year. It wasn't the greatest way to start the year, um, but it definitely opened my eyes to a lot of things. On Raspberry Island in St. Paul, friends and fans gathered. Lexi loved Minnesota. To celebrate a life that was taken away too soon. So we can just do whatever we all feel makes us happy. I would genuinely like to just take this as a lesson on bettering myself and being great because that's all that she ever wanted me to do. And here, people got a chance to take in the music. Let's get back to the time. Lexi had been working on. Songs that she and her manager, Juliana Goddard, had been waiting to release. We've had this album done um, that we were about to put out for a while, and she just, she knew she wasn't ready for all the things that come with this life personally. At 21 years old, Goddard says Lexi was just starting to get used to the celebrity. She's really goofy and outgoing around people she knows and feels comfortable around, but um, she did have a lot of anxiety about big crowds and all that kind of stuff. A crowd did form at the place she called home, but Goddard says Lexi might find comfort in just that. If she can see this and know how many people love and care about her, I'm sure she's home. I'm sure she's at peace. In St. Paul, Sharon Yu, Carol 11 News. Lexi's family says they'll celebrate her life the traditional Native American way for four days and four nights. Authorities have still not identified the cause of her death.